we just got an email from someone, Tony Lowry, and he sent us this image. Thanks. Get a great amount of pleasure out of my recent find on your site. Thus, a quick cartoon for you. Please don't ask me to explain. 513 Tony Lowry in Nusa, Australia. Let's read what it says. I don't have a TriStar chip, so put in a 513. Do the same thing, I think. And we have them in stock. Great sketch. I love it. Thank you, Tony. Here we're going to be working on an iPad Air or possibly iPad 6 or iPad 7. I do not know which one this is, but Big Boss took the motherboard out because when he tested the board using a TriStar tester, it immediately showed a fail. Immediate fail is an indication that there's something going on with the charging flex cable. We have the TriStar tester here. Test and immediate fail. Okay. Customer brought in two tablets with exactly the same issue. I do not know how he managed to have the same problem on both tablets and both of them are the same tablets. Without wasting too much time, let's go ahead and desolder this flex cable because as you know, the charging port on the tablet is this whole cable. You connect the speakers onto here and then it solders on to back of the board. So we always have to remove the board when doing this job and the soldering happens right under this piece of tape here. So we're going to have to remove this piece of tape so we can see all the pins. And this knife is sharp. This knife is sharp. Let's save this piece. We can reuse it after we're done with the charge and port replacement. And right now we just exposed those pins. For all those following the channel for a while, you know what step number one is. We can apply a low melt solder because low melt will lower the melting temperature of solder on those pads. And it will be much easier to desolder this flex cable when we have low melt solder. If we do not have low melt solder and we try to remove this flex cable, we may end up ripping pads off the board because unleaded takes a lot of heat to liquefy. Add flux. I'm gonna change the tip, this is too big. But let me first apply some solder onto those pins or pads. All right, so I'm going to go in circles, saturate those pads with low melt solder. Now, why did this charging port fail? We do not know. It could be a loose pad maybe one of the flex cable pads are not making a good connection with the motherboard pads or it could be a break in the cable itself and right now we are assuming the problem is the charging port because based on the tristar tester as soon as i plugged it in it showed the fail so there's a 90 percent chance that this is a charging flex cable issue okay and let's use hot air at 370 degrees celsius and we're gonna slowly pull on that cable. We do not wanna pull hard because even if we have low melt solder, we wanna take it easy and not pull hard on that cable. And remember the cable is also glued. There's glue under the cable and not just solder. So we have to know how much pressure to put on that cable and we have to differentiate between glue and solder. And this only comes with practice.
okay very nice cable is out and all the pads they look intact I have a lot of videos where a repair attempt was done on the board and you see a lot of missing pads on the board and that's common because you have to know how much pressure to apply when removing that cable and that only comes with practice and experience I always say it practice is the mother of all skills I got a lot of comments I want to be like you I want to be like you you can be better than me if you just practice just be dedicated to the job and you have to enjoy it if you do there's no reason why you would not be good it only takes will and practice So I'm barely, I'm barely touching those pads. And perfect. Okay, now we're gonna grab our new flex cable. Okay, we wanna make sure the window on the left and right align with the dot on the board. So we have a dot here and we have a dot here. And when we solder the cable on, the cable has a window on the left and a window on the right. So we have to make sure the window aligns with that dot. On both ends. And just like that. We want to secure that cable down in place. So I'm going to apply flux and then we're going to apply solder. Just want to secure that cable down in place, just like that. And do not worry about the solder blobs there. I just want to secure it and it will make everything look nice and clean. In two minutes, a lot of the noobs are going to say, what did he just do? Just relax. Everything is going to be okay. Barely touching the pads. We're going to make everything look nice and clean. Let's do it one by one and then we'll run over them. just want to make sure that solder sips through the hole and makes a connection with the pad under because as you know each one of them has a tiny hole where solder will make its way through and solders onto the pad let's clean up and just run over them one more time we're gonna apply flux and possibly get a bigger tip for more heat transfer. I have an old video about solder tips and heat transfer, but I feel like it's an old video and I could do a lot better now. Actually, when I look at my old videos, I feel like they, <laughs> they need a lot of work. 
even the microscope was bad quality. But that's how we all start. Look at how nice and shiny those joints are. Beautiful. Okay, we do not have to do anything anymore. The more we keep working on it, the more likely we're gonna cause unwanted damage. Sometimes all I wanna do is just align something to be perfect and I end up causing other damage that will take a lot more time to fix. So right now this looks perfect to me, it looks very good. We're gonna go ahead and test to see, do we still have a fail? And no, we do not have a fail, it's working. Let me put it under the microscope. And it's a pass. Oops, it's a pass. The job is done. I'm gonna give it to Big Bus to reassemble and I'll let him open up the other one because I told you the customer brought two of them. I'll let him open the other one and I'll do the same thing. I don't think I'm gonna have it on video. We already have this one. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.